Deceased rock star Michael Hutchins is in the spotlight again. No doubt the recent mini-series Never Tear Us Apart, the untold story of In Excess, which dramatised the rise and fall of one of the biggest bands of the 80s and the sad decline of its frontman, is a major factor. Michael Hutchins died in a hotel room after strangling himself on a doorknob and his partner Paula Yates was often blamed for his downfall. She died a few years later of a heroin overdose. The rather sordid origins of the Hutchins-Yates affair began shortly after she interviewed him on British TV's The Big Breakfast. At the time, Yates was married to Bob Geldof and Hutchins was dating supermodel Helena Christensen. The affair shocked and horrified not only their partners but also the British press who hounded the couple relentlessly. People could not understand why Hutchins would dump the beautiful Christensen for Yates who the press described as the ageing mother of three and wife of a British hero. Surprisingly, I may just have the answer. It revolves around an extraordinary encounter I had with a furious Sydney taxi driver in the early 90s. I hailed his cab soon after Hutchins had apparently gotten out. The taxi driver was apoplectic. He asked if I knew Hutchins, which luckily I didn't, and proceeded to rant about the insolent rock star who he'd sooner run over than pick up again. Several years later, Hutchins upset another taxi driver while out with Christensen in France. Was this the very same Sydney taxi driver? Had he moved abroad to escape rude Australian rock stars and was enjoying a nice croissant dipped in hot chocolate until Hutchins got into his cab again? This irate French, or possibly recently emigrated ex-Sydney taxi driver, knocked Hutchins unconscious, after which, according to many, the singer underwent a personality change. The brain is a fragile instrument and a strong blow leaves lasting damage. This could explain why Hutchins then became erratic, impulsive and aggressive and unlikely to consider the consequences of a high-profile affair with Yates. So it's possible the tragic trajectory of Hutchins' life may have been avoided if someone had advised him to hire a private limousine whenever he left home.